in today's class we'll be summing up the course we'll be looking at all the details that we have learned till now we'll revise all the uh, options all the ways of animating in flash in this class we are going to learn uh, the animation just now we have seen okay the first thing that we'll do is we'll change the dimensions of the stage by default it will be 550 and 400 in this animation we are going to make it 800 pixels width and uh, 600 pixels height okay so this will change the dimension of the stage the next thing that we are going to do uh, the next thing that we are going to do is change the color of uh, the stage okay so once this is done we need to clear create a floor first and this and all will be in the first uh, layer So we'll create a box, okay, and I'll select this box, okay. Control C, Control V. I'll paste it. So I'll just join these two boxes. Uh, right. So before joining it, what I will do is I will change the color of this box, okay. Now if I'll join this box. So that makes me two boxes so I'll select this box again I'll press Control C and Control V now if I want a different pattern so what I'll do is I will use uh, free transformation tool and uh, I will reverse this so that yeah fine now I have a floor type tile. Okay, so selecting this, I'll again press Control C and Control V so that I can get one more pattern. So again, select this, Control C and Control V. Okay, Control. Now, if you want. Once again, select Control C, Control V. Okay. Here uh, we have hardly two places left. So what I can do is I can select once again those two areas. So press Control C, Control V, and bring it here. Okay, fine. So, yeah, thank you, Patron. Let's go in the area. Now, what we are going to do is we know we need one more row. Okay, we'll select this. Right, fine. Now we are almost done with the floor part. Now let's check whether the floor is done. Okay, yeah, fine. So we have the floor and we have a background. Okay, so we are going to save. Uh, we're going to lock this layer because we don't want to make any changes when we are animating that. We'll add one more layer where we are going to uh, add the animation of the ball. So we need to import the ball to this uh, library. Okay, so we need a ball. So this will be added to the library.
fine we also need a movie file uh, sound file so again go to import uh, select the sound file fine now we have logged the first layer and we are in the second layer and just pick up this ball and it's of very huge size Use a free transformation tool to bring down the size. Okay, so it still needs a little adjustment. So scale it down so that we can easily accommodate uh, in our animation. Right. Now let us keep our ball here, and uh, the, we need to move the ball to somewhere in this direction here. So we'll insert the frames. Okay, we'll take a little more frames. Go for a keyframe, and uh, so this is not visible. So add your frames here. Right. So we want uh, the ball to be here to live in the screen. Okay. So we'll place it somewhere here. So as if it is going out of uh, the stage. Now what we want to do is uh, we'll create a motion twin. Select the first layer and last layer. Click on create motion twin. What happens is it creates a motion twin. But when we look at a uh, movie, so simply the ball moves from one moves on the floor. But we don't want this effect. We want the ball to jump on the floor or to fall on the slow floor and once again uh, make the steps out of its way. So for that we create a uh, motion guide. Right. So what I'll do here is I will activate the motion guide. I will take the pencil tool and I want the I'll set the path for the ball. I want the ball to step here, then here. Okay, yes, once again. So I want the ball to start from here, to step here, then here. Sorry. So from here and then here, then here. Okay, so finally here, then the ball move, will move outside. So we have set a direction for this animation. Now we need to set the ball. Not set. Okay, so the balls should start.
Alright, fine. So we'll check the animation now. Right. The last thing that we need to do is uh, we need to add a sound where the ball has been dropped. So to do this we'll add one more layer and this is where exactly the sound file has to be left. Okay. So. Create an keyframe and just drop a sound there. Okay. So this is one place where a sound has to be created and finally the ball moves in and finally here we need to create another sound file okay so create a keyframe and again drop the sound here and finally the ball moves and you have a sound file here Keyframe. So this should be fine. I hope you have enjoyed the session and the course so as the last part of the course I am adding a PDF file with all the shortcuts for the options that we use in Flash please do look at the options learn those shortcut keys that will enhance your animation skills thank you